Hello everyone, my name is Uthers, and welcome back to another episode of Foundations. We have built up everything that we have laid out over the past two episodes. I went ahead and did that. It took a couple or many in-game months, um, and things have been created, and I wanted to do it kind of off-camera just because of how long I know this, this would have taken to construct. So... Uh, this is everything and all of its built up splendor. It is a beautiful little trade district um, with two churches and a tavern. Um, plenty of profession buildings. You guys know what this all is. You you guys watched me build it all. So um, it's looking good. Today, we're just going to hop right into it. Uh, I'm going to leave it at times one speed, I think. And we're going to actually start working on the Lord Manor that's going to go up here kind of on top of this little hill and maybe a little bit downwards uh, towards the back of the tavern there. And I do want to use the actual stone main set here for pretty much all of it. Boom. Actually, how big is the core? You know what, let's, let's use the actual core. I think that's fine. And we'll go ahead and raise it up two. And we will slap another core kind of coming out the front like that. So that'll be it for the core old style. Everything else is gonna be new style probably. very unsure on how I want to do the rest of it though. Let's try and do kind of an old school design here if possible. Okay. Yep, oh, that'll work. Let's go ahead and... Actually, yeah, I, th I have a feeling that building off the side of a slope here is gonna be a bit of a problem for us. So let's rethink this. Let's rethink this here. I mean, this spot's a little bit more flat. We could go back here, but See, it's either um, we commit or not. So let's let's just commit, right? Go big, go home. All right, let's get this centered here. I kind of wish there was a way to adjust the height in smaller increments, but I guess not. All right, so that's gonna be like a major portion. Um, we'll even be able to throw, I think. A nice tower off the backside there. So that's kind of like the living quarters of it. Okay. That'll work out. So hence the timber framing. I think that lends itself to making it look a little bit more lovable. And then we can do the main core of the building. That stone coming off the side here to each direction. Now the reason for that the same height is I want a little bit of a courtyard here something like that that'll look cool and now through the use of tiny extensions Get that courtyard. 
go ahead and put maybe towers on each end. We're gonna make these kind of the same height. Or step down a little bit more gentle than that. That's a little too aggressive. I'm also going to be moving these towers to where they clip in. To the actual building. Okay, courtyard. Let's see what's the best way to this on here. Let's assume there's like a gate-like structure here, right? So we'll do that and we'll slap another tower. Okay, that should work. Fireplace location. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll do, I guess, little extensions. This way we can attach a bailiff office, maybe. Actually, rotate the balcony to where it's looking out over a little bit, right? Maybe something a little bit more like that. Okay. Keep these extensions. Gap a bit. Kind of wish there was like a window detail. I think that would be really nice to have, to be honest. But maybe, maybe it's just something they don't want to have here. So, courtyard, we can kind of squeeze in. Maybe a fountain there large banners hanging by the door that would be cool weather vane on top of that nice I think this will be a much cooler lordly manor and the one down below in fact for the one from down below you can clearly see that one up there, which is a pretty cool detail. I just want to throw, just for funsies, like another just tower thing on here. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Let's do some hedge work. I think this will help make it look... Actually, I'm gonna use fences instead because fences or walls um, actually go with the slope nice and smooth so all right we're gonna surround I think this whole building and a green hedge that should just look lovely This way we can get some color 
on this thing. So it's not just a wall of gray. Because that is a little bit boring, if you, if you ask me. I think to there. I'm not going to surround the, the highest one. The highest bit there. So we'll just take it to this corner. Some nice hedges. Maybe we can do like a water basin. Kind of the low end. Maybe just have those two show and then maybe like a prune tree near it. I'm gonna make these a bit taller. So they look a little bit more like a wall. Just a couple doors to some of these towers. There we go. Okay. I kind of wish there was a, a topper for, for these towers that weren't just the weather vane, but uh, could be like something else, like a flag. I think that would look really nice, but alas, that's not in the cards, it seems. Yeah, I think that's that suffices. How, how, how much expensive? How expensive is this? 600 gold coins. Lordy lord. I don't know, I guess it's a lordly manner. All right. So we had to hold that off for just a moment, which is fine. That's normal. Um, we need a well to be in the middle of this. Duh. Can't, can't have a courtyard without, like, a well in the middle of it. Actually, no. I'll do it off to, like, the left quarter. I think that would look nice. Oh, and I need to set the visitor location to the main door. Boom. Okay, so to build this, all right, what we're gonna do is we're going to play with something that you guys haven't seen done here on the channel yet, and that's military missions. Military, okay, well, unless I suddenly get a huge influx of money, so we'll start building it. Regardless, <laughs> um, even even without that huge influx of money that I'm randomly getting, um, we are going to be doing a military mission because I need more money so that we can do better trading um, and purchasing things. So let's go down here and take a look here at our troops. You'll notice they, ha they are carrying spears and they are wearing armor now. So I'm gonna go over the, the military manager a little bit here. So they will train up from untrained to fully trained, which increases their strength um, a little bit. And then you can also promote them like you can your villagers. So they're essentially like footmen, soldiers, and the knights. You can only, I think, have one knight at a time. They do gain levels. Levels will increase their power. Um, the main purpose of weapons is, is a direct increase in strength you can you, you do start with some swords so um, i recommend equipping your military with swords right away you get about five of them and sending them on easy missions in easy missions over here the mission uh, list there's a lot of them you know they they give a decent amount a little bit of coin if you're a little short um, some food and some basic resources here and there you can also go and find difficult missions or when you're you have a bigger army and a more trained army uh, with better gear and this is going to give you more things and then extremely difficult i'm going to start with extremely difficult because i haven't done one of these yet and i want to see what it does so view mission prepare my troops and i'll send them right away so you'll accept a mission and then you go to the accepted mission list and then it says basically your odds of winning this mission i'm going to assign all 10 of my soldiers and you're gonna watch that probability increase extreme is basically 100 percent so i'm gonna send all 10 people to this mission and off they go they'll line up 
they'll all meet in the town center because not all of them are at the fort at the same time. So these guys will patrol on over. And I'm going to build like a much bigger fort um, next to the city, by the way, which will end up replacing this little segment here. So they'll all line up, get all ready to go. And a couple more people are showing up. And then in a nice line, they'll be led out by what seems to be our knight based on that uniform all the way out. And I think their uniform does change a little bit. It's I think it's a little bit random, but also at the same time, it's based on rank. So knight wears red, uh, soldiers wear male, and I think normal guys wear just normal hauberks. Uh, these guys have like little extra gold leaves on them. Actually, no, they all do. I thought that might be representative of their level, but they're off. And each of these missions are three parts. You can come home after finishing any part of the mission, but you will not reap the full reward if you come home early. So keep that in mind. And we'll talk about the reward more as uh, we get closer to it on this episode. So at this stage, I'm going to speed up time. So we have a lot of space. Okay, we are covering pretty much all of our basic avenues from resource, you know, we got two markets built, we got two churches. We have everything we need up here to be sufficient for living. We have no homes. So let's build some homes today. Today is a day of growth. So, residential. You can see how well having uh, the churches across town like this have really squeezed in this noisy area to be pretty small, to be honest, and and basically a non-issue because of the um, the placement of everything. We have a little bit of a dead spot here. We could fix that maybe with a monument building. I don't know if there is, outside of a tavern, there's really not much else. A custom fountain and stone bridge, we, ha we don't really have those just yet. Sheep statue, yeah, good old sheep statue. No decorations. There's multiple masterpieces uh, that you can find are unlocked by doing different things in the game. So, and these would probably increase the happiness as well. We'll get into the masterpieces, I think, after the town's a little bit more laid out. So, let's just block in. I'm going to pause the game for this so that they don't just start building. And I want them to have this whole area... I'm gonna fill in the whole town essentially, except for like the courtyard areas. Because I don't think they should be building in the courtyards. But outside of that, I am gonna have essentially no restrictions on where these things are gonna be popping up. And I might even, you know, put some buildings out here behind the church. On this little Plateau. One thing that I don't have is a graveyard. Mm. Let's um. Let's reserve a graveyard spot. Tell you what, let's do that behind this church. So every, everything back here will be graveyard. I think that'll be fine because your soldiers can die in combat, and it's not required to have graves for them. But you know, I like the idea of at least honoring your dead in some way, right? Because they got you here. They're the ones that sacrificed to get you to this time. So we'll go around the tavern area. Okay, we'll paint that all in. And I kind of want to just... Fine. All right. Increase the brush size, and now we can just fill paint, essentially, the rest of the town. Um, long term, don't know what this is going to end up doing. <laughs> this could all backfire, for all I know. But this is my solution currently to our housing issues. In a way. Okay. 
Place your bets now as to what's going to happen. I'm gonna make sure immigration is turned on. Um, we are lacking a lot of clothes, but we need more population to start fixing that issue here soon. So, all right. If you hover over the immigration, by the way, you can see how much space you have. Um, their complaints right now are prob probability is low because our residential space is low. Um, that will probably change here soon just because uh, I just laid out a whole bunch of residential space. So that should definitely change. And especially when we get some more people in the area. Oh, yep, some houses are already starting to pop up. Which is wonderful. It'll give our builder something else to work on outside of uh, the Lordly Manor, which is going to require a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to require... 89 tools, which, let's be honest, I have 238 right now because the blacksmith is online. Um, polished stone, 40. We got that. Stone is a lot. 461. Cloth, 20. That's not bad. Wood, 10. And planks, 173, which I have 209 of. Um, really, what's, what it's going to come down to is how many builders I have versus, um, you know, the, the actual project. So you can see this is, this is going to take a lot of builders. Go ahead and lay out all that stuff. Oop. Okay. Just a fish area issue there. New military mission is available. Don't really need to worry about that. I don't have uh, any more standing army left over. Once a lot of these houses are laid out, guys, we will probably prune them a little bit. Maybe delete a couple to hopefully try and roll the dice to get a couple more in a um, better location or something like that. Maybe something a little closer together, a little bit more city-like. You kind of don't know where they're going to be placed. I kind of wish there was a move option, or like move it in a way, but can't have everything for the most part. It's kind of interesting that some of them are going up in this hillside first, but at the same time, I guess not. And then when the bailiff's office up there gets made, we'll make this one an all treasury structure that way uh, and we can get rid of I think this this meeting visitor location too I don't think any other buildings have visitor locations so actually maybe the tavern does does the tavern yeah I think I removed it Anyways, all right. So this this is this is what's happening. So we we finished the first battle. Uh, our troops have been very helpful regarding the matter the matter with our evil neighbors. So we can keep the troops with them. This is really poor. You know, we're telling the key the king, hey, keep our troops. Um, and basically tells us our reward chances. It's very far. It's extreme probability to succeed. So I'm comfortable with letting them keep them. Um, you can check. Your military, even when they're on a mission, we have one person that is wounded. It essentially halved their combat strength. They can die in battle history. If we come down here, the first battle that I did, a whole bunch of novices I just sent out there because I didn't know what I was doing. They all died. Um, and then a couple months later, you know, I lost some more. Uh, I haven't lost anyone in a long while, though. Now, since figuring out if I can equip them with weapons, very important tidbit of information, apparently, was weapons. All right, I'm getting some more people into town, and one of the best things about that is I'll be able to assign some new tailors, hopefully soon. Are you unemployed? No, you're a fisherman. Could have sworn there was a person that was unemployed. But I guess not. All right, monk requesting assistance. We're going to, I suppose, assist the king. Um, we will turn that in, turn that in. Beautiful. Okay. That's looking good. We expanded the farmlands. I suppose I can, can go over a little bit of what we did between episodes in a way. Um, I made some charcoal burners at the edge of town. I made this little village expand it a bit, build a little, little um, bridge across. So this is providing more wool, more cheese, more uh, bread. 
Um, and we have another field over here. You know, I, I really like the way the fields look when they're all kind of growing. They're, they provide a lovely break in the pastures and look really cool. So I'm a big fan of those. Oh, Lord Manor is done. So this core, I think, I think I have everything I need here. So let's go ahead and make this treasury and treasury. Oh, we were victorious again. Do we tell them to charge? It's average win here, but you can see unique reward is added. So that's, I've never seen that before, but I'm gonna bring them back uh, for now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that without like a bit of a bigger army, to be honest. Uh, so this is going to be the Great Hall. This one is here. It's going to be Bailiff's Office for now. Um, can I have more than one Bailiff Office? Um, yeah, sure. Let's let's do increased trade here. Can I can I have more than one Bailiff? Let's see here. No, I can't. But it looks like they do offer different things at different times. So uh, maybe I should have been looking at different bailiffs uh, more often. However, I think the trading one is a pretty good one. That's 11% trade um, in our favor, whether that's probably buying or selling. So uh, we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. That, that should suffice. The bailiff office will try and move down here eventually. Ooh, ooh, our quest complete. Uh, let's, yeah, start a mandate, sure. Um, logs. All right, so we got 2,340 gold. That's double our capacity, basically. 110 bread. We got three tools, 22 wine, seven spears, 16 iron, one polished stone. Not that bad, to be honest. Not that bad. Uh, can I trade spears away? Because I actually have a little too many. If I have more than 10, I'm going to sell them. And I don't know if anyone's buying spears. Some people are buying swords, but I don't know if they'll buy spears as well. But we'll see. You know, we have a decent amount of them. Our gold it will dramatically decrease if we don't spend it, though. Uh, that's fine. No, I'm not really overly worried about it. You can see some of the, the roadways are getting filled in. These houses are pretty far apart from each other, though. I'm not a huge fan of that. Hmm. All right. So while we're still waiting for that stuff to build, let's look at the actual masterpieces. So we got a gem encrusted cross masterpiece. If we build this, it'll apply effect of two religion influence per week. Okay. Um. A fish, a, oh my god, a fish, a officinal garden masterpiece. I don't know why that was hard to say. Will apply effect soldier recovery speed increased by two. Condition all parts are above nearby buildings. So this is like a garden, a, a high garden kind of thing, right? Um, fountain sculpture, uh, minimum number of decorative parts. Okay, building maintenance costs is decreased by fifty percent. So we might want to think about doing that at some point. Um, and then finally the lush garden far from other buildings building splendor is increased by 300% So all those are really good For sure, I don't really have a really high spot to build that garden um, But when we unlock like the monastery and stuff I'm thinking about building that on that ridge there Which then means I might be able to build that garden like up here or something above the monastery. That could be, be kind of pretty. Um, other monuments, though, uh, I think there is one that we can do, which is just simply the fountain sculpture masterpiece. And what I'll probably do is get rid of this well. That way we can just do this fountain sculpture masterpiece 
Net. There. I don't think that's gonna work. Well, oh, shoot! Because if I just throw it down here, they're not going to be able to uh, really move around it. And I could throw it here. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we need 15 parts on this. That's pretty crazy. So let's put some pestles on here. Okay, main one. Can I put a small one on top? Yes, I can. So what should we enshrine in our people? We don't really have gold bars, so that's that's a no. We don't have marble either currently, but I can maybe just buy some. Uh, shovel, mine, female statue? Yeah, female statue I think will be fine. We can have it face the uh, church or something. So something like that. They want 15 parts on this thing, are you? Well, actually, I could do this. And almost treat it like an attachment to the church. Yeah, let's let's do it that way. So this this one I'm going to I'm going to make the church a little bit more fancy. I think I think that'll work. Um am, am I missing something? Just that. Okay. So we'll we'll, we'll put it over here. All right. Cuz this is I think the a little bit more of a grand church in a way. So, let's do you know, a simple plinth on both sides of the door with a lady on it. I guess the bigger plinth is going to be needed. Too far. Come on, man. Attach that to there. Put some additional fountain stuff under it. Okay. That's kind of cool. I can't believe it wants us to do like 15 individual parts for this. That's uh, a little crazy, if, if I say so myself, but whatever. We can have uh, something over here with another female statue. Back in there. Okay, so I just need six more parts, which is going to be a little tough. I wonder if I can put them in there, almost like relief sculptures. I suppose that works. Kind of 
kind of wish there was a guy with a sword, you know? I'm, uh, you know, it's all guys with shovels, pickaxes, and, uh, and stuff. So it's, it's just, just a little weird. I wonder if I could inlay these guys. Like half in to the wall and just kind of just see what that does. Like tool side in. So you kind of can't see the tools? Nah. It looks kind of lame. Kind of lame. Um, I can maybe add these little plinths as footers to the core building. That could be okay. Maybe do that in multiple locations. That might make it look fancy. Nice. Okay. I think that's fine. We we got the, we got twenty parts of fifteen. We're good to go. No upfront cost. Uh, we're gonna need marble. It looks like so. Let's start construction on that. I'm gonna open up our trade trade resources. We're gonna find marble because I haven't started gathering these resources yet myself. I'm gonna buy until we reach 20. That way we don't buy too much of it at once. So that is one, one masterpiece laid out and our Lordly Manor, which I was really hoping would be a little bit farther along. Um, let's assist the king with that. Send him some tools, we're good. No hard warnings on anything. Honestly, I think this this little manor home thing turned out pretty well. And plus, I kind of like the fact that it th that we angled it the way we did. Kind of just really overlooks the town now. It's like a small little castle without really being a castle. Which is pretty cool, to be honest. And the view from up here, you know, you're overlooking the, the lower village and the sheep statue. That's that's nice. That's that's pretty lovely. All right. So what we'll do um, is number one. I need to pause this. I had to pause the construction of this so they can build houses um, and assign my new tailor. Um, I'm gonna let them again keep building. Uh, next episode, hopefully, a lot of these houses will be inlaid, and then we'll go over. Um, maybe working on the fortification on this hillside uh, to get that fully finished. And we can also go over how I want to do the outer walls along the cliff face. Um, hopefully, we can do them correctly. We'll see. Um, I generally have a good idea on what to do with those, though. So we'll see what it turns into. With that, thanks, everyone, for coming out um, and watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe for more creative goodness such as this.